Now, how are supermarkets handling the one-week rush of customers in preparation for ECQ? Let's hear it straight from Stephen Kua. He's president of the Amal Mag Amalgamated Supermarkets Association. He's joining us via Zoom. Sir, good afternoon. Hi, Risa. Good afternoon. Amalgamated means United Supermarkets. Okay. Thank you, sir, for that clarification. Uh, sir, Stephen, the government tells the public that there's no need to panic buy. And, of course, it's assuring the public that there's going to be enough supply of goods when it comes to, of course, the ECQ implementation. Do you agree? Uh, yes. Uh, I think people have learned from last year's panic buying mode, okay? Um, when we first locked down, March, uh, April last year, uh, there was a panic buying, no? Uh, and then September, nag-lockdown ulit tayo. It was a one-day panic buying phenomenon, okay? As of yesterday, it was a half-day. You know, and I, I wouldn't call it panic buying. I just call it uh, enhanced community buying, no? And also, it's as mentioned in the interviews uh, a while ago, uh, the video, payday kasi, kaya, you know, people are out also buying. And they probably buy more with the, the money they're getting for from their salaries, no? For this payday. Correct, sir. Tama, natapos actually payday and perhaps it was their schedule also to buy but sir are, are there preparations for let's say possible delivery issues once ECQ is implemented although just to clarify tama po supermarkets will be open but some supermarkets they offer uh, delivery services as well yes uh, we are we have I've been advising uh, member stores no of the association not to uh, stock up a bit buy a little bit more if they still can uh, one week is a bit too late to prepare for something like this, no? Unlike before, one day lang, talagang uulangin ng oras, and nobody will be able to deliver, no? Even if all the suppliers of a supermarket will deliver all on the same day, that's impossible to be receiving all those stocks, di ba? Kaya yun na nga, uh, definitely, uh, if we buy, may enhanced buying nga, no? Uh, baka maubusan ang certain supermarkets of certain items, but not all supermarkets of all items, okay? So no need to panic. On that note, sir, what products are in demand as of the moment and how are supermarkets preventing ito nga pong, if ever possible, na hoarding of goods when it comes to the ECQ? You know, it's not just the households. Eh. Uh, during times like this, na may two weeks na supposed to be locked down, uh, people, foundations, uh, charitable institutions, churches, uh, associations are buying up also to, um, to name, no? So, maaari nakakadagdag din yun sa uh, demand uh, side of uh, of the items. And we're talking about uh, instant noodles, sardines, uh, things which are easily prepared, uh, ready for consumption. You know? mm -hmm. Sir Stephen, magbabago po ba yung mga health protocols natin in supermarkets during the ECQ? Yeah, what I foresee is the limitation of people getting into supermarkets kung marami nga. And probably limiting of selling of items, no? Like, for example, before it was alcohol. Right now, may fatigue ng alcohol. Ang tao, medyo nagbawasan ng pagbili or paggamit ng alcohol, no? Nakikigamit na sa mga establishments may mga libreng alcohol, no? Uh, so, probably, um, those are the protocols which probably will come up in the next few days. Uh, depends all, it depends on the market that the particular supermarket is serving and the conditions, no? Kung sumobrang daming tao kasi... Hindi ka tulad dati, panic buying, whole day yun, Mag, from opening to closing, no? Ngayon, mukhang uh, bugso-bugso. There are some supermarkets who, who uh, experienced enhanced buying this morning. By this time, wala na masyadong tao. So, hindi na katulad dati na talagang tuloy-tuloy. No? That was what's called panic, na panic mode, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Stephen, no price hikes yet uh, approved, but the DTI said uh, there could be like a move to hold off a price increases during the enhanced community quarantine. Can you confirm? If there is enhanced buying, there's no time for supermarkets to be increasing and changing their prices. No? I mean, um, kung meron man, kailangan, kailangan lang. But in general, you know, hindi na makakapag uh, change price no? dahil sa movement of stocks from the warehouse to the selling area, no? Uh, the um, it, it's going to be operations mode. It's going to be um, concentration or focus on serving the market now. So uh, not likely that there will be any change in prices uh, in the on the shelves of, on the on the goods in the goods on the shelves. Yes. All right. We'd like to thank you for your time. That's Mr. Stephen Kua, president of the Philippine Amalgamated Supermarkets Association.